Hello, so I saw Mission Impossible 7, Dead Reckoning, and I'm just wondering if there's any more context from the other movies, like the previous ones. I haven't seen the other movies, so I wanna know. Maybe I shouldn't maybe I should those, because from this movie, I honestly enjoyed it more than I thought I would, but like, yeah. One of my favorite characters in the movie is Paris, who was played by Palm Clement Clement yeah, Fritz. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but when I saw her, I couldn't focus on anything else, and it probably says more about me than it should. Like I was, I did focus on like the rest of the movie, like all the context and everything, but also same time I couldn't so it's like like I've never enjoyed chaos so much in a movie setting like in general like seeing her like be that yeah chaotic with, like crashing into stuff and everything was just interesting as hell like I like I actually I, I actually like got invigorated by it but, um like the train scene I think the train scene was overdone I feel like like I think we got after like the second like car falling like at the end of the movie like I think we got at that point like but also the scene where they like fall on their backs if that was me I would probably be in the hospital after <laughs> because I, I if I lay down on my back now I have to just it's it's just suffering like I don't know <laughs> I don't know why, like, I probably said most of my life, but apparently, still not, so, still have that said, so that's fun. But I, also, I can't wait for part two, because I need to see the entity who is the antagonist in the movie. I need to see the entity, like, lose, I just want to see it, like, the entity reminds me of AI, so, like, I just need a win against AI, and that's, like, That'd be perfect for right about now, especially, especially with everything going on. Like a win against AI, a win against the entity, or just a win against the entity, or just AI in general would be just great, personally. But um, yeah. Outside of that, um, I think Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise is a great actor. I admit, like I. I saw a couple of his movies just coincidentally, like, coincidentally, like, before seeing this movie. And I, I'm a he's a good actor, but, like, I just think he's good because I think he supports Scientology, but he could have changed with that from there, and I hope he does, because, like, Scientology's weird. If, if you don't know what Scientology is, just, like, look it up on YouTube. There's, like, a whole... This video is debunking on why Scientology is just weird. Like, I think it's basic. I think it's basically a cult, I feel like. Just from what I've heard, just, that's all I'm gonna say. But, um, yeah. If you have a favorite Mission Impossible movie from the franchise, feel free to comment down below. Because I'm actually curious. And just, yeah. And there's no post credit scene, which I'm happy for because um, when I saw it in theaters, like the one time, just when we saw it, coincidentally ended like less than an hour before I was walking that day. So I didn't know if there was like a post credit scene. I was always wondering. And my theater, like my local theater, has like a thing that says like the movies are playing, and if there's like a post credit scene or something, or like end credit scene or whatever. And like, for Mission Impossible 7, it just had none for like, any of them basically, so that made me happy because I didn't know and like, I'm just like, I don't necessarily trust you because like, I feel like a lot of things get like, a lot of things get claimed as like, post credit scenes or like, whatever. Like, that's happening a lot of Rise of the Beast, I know that, but like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's happening with other movies. I feel like that's just normal. So, um, yeah. That's a wrap. This is some thoughts I have. And just, yeah. Have a good day and just.
enjoy the outdoors and hydrate.